Can our sweet tooths tell time? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Candy is the secret food group that food pyramids and doctors don't want you to know about. And whether it's nerds, a baby Ruth, or a right Twix that you flip around to make into a left Twix, everybody's got a favorite sweet treat that they love to shovel into the largest hole in their face, their mouth. But how well can our sugar stuffed face holes determine when some of the most popular candies came from? We're about to find out. It's time for Gear Eye with Two Straight Guys, Candy Edition. Welcome to the Shuffle Zone. In each and every round, we were reaching to this candy bowl for a popular candy that was invented during a particular decade, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna taste this candy and then we are going to indicate what decade we think the candy originated in by shuffling across our amazing shuffle board. Yes, whoever lands closest to the space yes. with the actual decade wins the round. Now this is, this is big because the loser of the game has to count how many licks it really takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. It was just a Tootsie Pop. Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Pop. On Instagram, no matter how long that takes. Let's shuffle. Round one. Okay, let's check out this first candy. Oh, we got yeah, we can we can de de lid together. Oh, it's a deep bowl. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got some candy. Oh, can you get some candies out? Butterfinger. Oh, Butterfinger. I love a Butterfinger, man. Dang. You know what? I feel like we should. I. Why are you looking at me like that? Butterfinger breakfast. Now I won last time. I get to shuffle first. And we got all What do you think about a Butterfinger? All types of dates from the 20th century. That's the 1900s, Rhett. You're a peanut butter man, but you don't really like Butterfingers mm. last time I checked. You know what? Change my mind, I love it. Oh, good, good, good. I'm gonna start loving all foods on this show because people keep complaining. Right. Butterfinger. When was oh, hold on, you gotta put your Butterfinger on, on your tooth. That was gonna land in there perfectly if you hadn't gotten in the way. Okay, I think it's been around a while, but the 20s? I don't think so. The 80s? Nope. I'm gonna split the difference. I, I think this quite a range. I think this was invented in the 70s. Here we go. Slide and glide and stop on 70s. <laughs> okay. Oh, stopped a little short. That might not be bad. You're close to the. It uh, did not have the travel that I predicted that it would have. Um, when was peanut butter invented? That was before any of this. Before any of that. I'm thinking 60s. So I'm gonna slide by you, but I'm gonna kinda land in the middle of the board because you are close to the 80s, which may be a good answer. Let's just see. Sliding by me. All right, you are closer to the 60s. You've landed on 1910. Stevie, was that a Butterfinger that we just ate? <laughs> Correct. Yes. The Butterfinger, which actually got its iconic name through a public naming contest, was wow. invented by the Curtis Candy Company in the 1920s. Dang, the 20s? The 20s. That's an old candy bar. I couldn't have even thought. Well, but you <laughs> but you did because you said 20s before you shuffled. I said that's way too early. Uh, but You're closer. I'm closer, I take the point. You know what, I'm not worried. Round two. Let's see what we got. Put your long arm down the candy hole. Pull out a candy, don't you know? Everybody loves to get their hands I know what this is. dirty with some pop rocks. Pop rocks. Oh, and I, all right, so which ones am I gonna try? Green apple, that's my jam. Man. All right, let's do this, let's, 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 let's do this for each other, like. Like a newlywed? Yeah. Oh, I, Ooh. I really don't want to swallow everything I just put in my mouth. Oh, it, it's jumping out of my mouth and <laughs> in, into your face. That's what the bag's for. Save it for later. Okay. Mmm. I gotta wait for the popping to stop before this I can think straight. This is a modern straight. candy, am I right? Yeah, Link, it's a modern candy. Is the technology required to do what's happening in my mouth right now? You think they had that before the 80s? Well. I'm definitely in 70s or 80s territory. I mean, I don't. Rem I remember these in the 80s, and again, if you remember something in the 80s, then it probably came from before the 80s. Or at least the 80s. Or at least the 80s. Unless you were like a prophet. You gonna put any rocks on your tooth or what? Oh yeah, all right. I predict. I gotta put the rocks that I put in back in my mouth onto my tooth. I'm gonna put, oh, I'm gonna they're put all mine stuck. on my, mine too. They're all stuck, so I'm just gonna put the packaging there. I predict that you are going to go for 1980. 
I'm gonna go for 1970. Too, Too much! Too much! 1960! Knock! All right, this still counts. You know what? Maybe it's 1960. You know what? I prophesy that this candy was invented in 1980, but I'm gonna go for 1970 for the reasoning that you gave. What's up with your no rockless? Put your put the thing on there. How could Stevie, you forget? It doesn't matter. How could you forget something so fundamental? It doesn't matter. Hold on, I prophesied that your tooth point doesn't count if you don't put your pot rocks on top of your tooth. That doesn't. That's that's bunk, man. Hey, it was a prophecy. That's all I can say. When they when the um, vision, when the visions come to me, I just. I'm just a vessel. I'm a I'm vessel. I have a stick. He has a family. Like when he puts, how many dependents do you have on a tax form? There's other people. <laughs> There's other people hey, dude, who are dependent upon him. And you know what? And I pray for them every night. I put five as my number of dependents because I include myself. 1970. Eat it and weep. <laughs> okay. Okay. While chemist William A. Mitchell accidentally created carbonated candy when trying to make instant carbonated soda in the 1950s, idiot. the fizzy fun gasified pop rocks that we all know and love weren't actually invented until the 1970s. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. I knew it. <laughs> you were right. Now yeah. I get the point. Right. Round, Round three. three. If you like to see us on a shuffleboard set, you should see us out in the real world filming each other. Yeah. We got vlogs every Saturday on our Rhett and Link channel. Check it out, subscribe That's to us, it. Rhett and Link. Candy time, digging deep. Grab a handful and look at that. Oh, Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers. There's nothing better. Nothing than makes a, me jollier. Than a happy cowboy who stays in one place. Cowboys like to travel, but when they don't, what are they called? I don't think this is about a cowboy. I just think it's about someone who li lives in a single story home. Rancher. I'm looking for rancher. That's why I was saying it was a single story home. Like a ranch house? Yeah. I've right. always wanted to build myself a ranch house. Now this is a classic. Maybe a split level. Hard candy. I think this one could be old. Who's going first, me? You, because we're tied again and you won last time. Um, ah oh shoot. T toss me some candies because you know how Stevie is about me. Put all right. Catch them all together, okay? I'm gonna, them keep, all together. I'm gonna keep them in a tight ranch ball. I prophesy. Whoop. Hey, I caught most of them. That's pretty good. Um, I get points for that? No. Silence. <laughs> 1920's been taken, but I think this is also 1920. I'm going for 1930. <laughs> I know how this game is played. What? 1930. <laughs> Slow, slow, slow down. Oh, I've got some accuracy. Good gracious, you're on fire today. I've got some accuracy It must be today. that sweatsuit that you have on that is only available at mythical.com. I'm gonna go for 1940, because it would be to my advantage to try to land right next to him, but so far I haven't demonstrated the ability to be that accurate. That's very humble of you. Yep, there you go. 1950 he strikes. Hopefully it's 1910. <laughs> okay. When Bill and Dorothy Harmson started the Jolly Rancher Company, they only sold their goods in Denver, Colorado, and also sold ice cream and chocolates. But in the cold Colorado winters, nothing sold better than their hard candy, the Jolly Rancher. Really? Which they invented in the late 1940s. Ah, oh, dang it! My guess was right, my throw was wrong. Do you get the point? I was off by a decade. Round four! Unison lid removal? Unison bowl dippage. Oh. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Why we got wetness? We got slimy, slimy. Is pudding a candy? What? Can what is you it? guys guess what year Hershey's chocolate syrup was invented? Uh, oh, dang. It's not part of the game. We just wanted you to be alarmed by that, but apparently you're not, and you're we were... having fun. <laughs> okay, um, Link, you're but still. Seriously, uh... what's the guess? This, this is this the is... reason why the bowl went so deep. Yeah. <laughs> This isn't even for the this real moment. round. This isn't for the game? No, it's supposed to be like, you're supposed to be like, ew, but you're ah, like, oh, this let's is try typical. Again. Let's give them what they want, right? Double dippage? Uh, Boy, you got us. <laughs> All right, let's, <laughs> let's go down in the hole again. Uh, oh, okay, this is dry oh, candy. Laffy Taffy, right, right, is it right. Airhead. Airhead, sorry, Laffy Taffy. Oh, white mystery, which is what they called me. 
in, in middle school. school. Uh, I wonder what the mystery is. Um, mm. Man, it's just so much candy is just sugar in a different form. Yeah, all good, though. Okay. okay, you're way up now, two to one, so you're still going first. Now, Airheads has to be, as you said, a form of taffy. Come on, throw me some taffy. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta put some Airheads on here. I, I think this is 1930, since 1940 was taken last round. Okay. All right. Okay. So okay. I'm, okay. I'm gonna do the exact same stroke as last time and get the same result. That's how science works. Right. That's also how insanity works. Oh my, what? That's a little short that time. I got a little scared. Yeah. I can't be your, forever. Your strategy was very sound and your <laughs> you execution know? was very bad. I just can't. Uh, I sabotage myself, man. What I've been doing this game is guessing the right thing and then doing a horrible shuffle every single time. Because my instinct is that this is also 1930. I but agree you know with, what? You agree it could with be me. 1910, but they didn't call anything airheads in 1910. Right? I do know the answer. That's why I'm keeping quiet. Yeah. I'm gonna try to sneak around you and land on 1930. Sneaking around me ain't gonna be hard. Okay, all right. Okay, you split okay. the difference between 10 and 30. Okay. I don't know how I win this round. While some people debate the flavor of white mystery airhead, and others debate whether a food's flavor should ever be called a white mystery, there's no debate that airheads themselves were invented in the 1980s. Oh! oh, yeah! I got the point again. I don't know why we thought Airheads would be in the 30s. I, now now that I thought about it, it's, but it's called Airheads. It's yeah, such yeah. an 80s thing. <laughs> I'm such an Airhead. Woo! Round five. Here we go. Hand. Oh! Ha! Psych. Oh, Red. Psych you, was you, invented in the 80s. You got to get your hand down in here, man, because there's some magical stuff happening. Well, there's a log. Snickers. Ah. Snickers got a good marketing campaign because you think about that hangry stuff, not a sponsor. Mm, that's pretty good. That's hangry, invented in 1994. I, I, think, I think 2004. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, Link. I'm winning big time. Yeah, I can't really win at this point. It's my turn to make a deal. To make this interesting, I'm going to channel my inner retinas and say, you know what? If you hit it exactly. That's exactly how I talk, like a man. You hit it exactly on the answer. Get it exactly right. You win the entire game. Just talk, speak a little bit deeper. We do it again. Just speak a little bit deeper. A little... If you land on the right answer exactly, you win the entire game. Now with a little more swagger. I'm done. Okay. I'm only taking pity in you because I'm going to beat you. You know, put a snicker on there. Think fast. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to aim for something without saying anything. And then I'm gonna act like I meant to do it. <laughs> okay, now that's a great guess because what I was thinking was 1950. I'm gonna knock you off of 1950 and remain there. Oh, <laughs> you Hope. suck. We're gonna count this, not that. Okay. The Snickers bar named lovingly after inventor Frank Mars's favorite horse, Snickers, only would have cost you five cents when it was first created Ooh. in the 1930s. Oh, I'm on it! I'm on it! I'm on it twice! I'm on it twice with both parts of my big old tooth! And that means that I win. <laughs> that dance was invented in the 1980s. Hey, Link, you know what? You look hangry. You should have a Snickers. <laughs> okay, since I won, that means that Link has to see how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop on our Instagram. That's at mythical. Thanks for subscribing. Click at the bell. You know what time it is. I'm Thomas. I'm Erin. And we go to school in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And... It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Yeah, it is. You know what? They didn't fight at all trying to get that together, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of seething anger. Click the top link to watch us guess the candy from its ingredients alone and get mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. The reason why I'm so bad with knives is because I don't really know how to use a knife. I can use a dull knife to spread some peanut butter. Does that feel sharp? Let me see if I can shave you with it.